23-year-old Justin Diaz is at the KHMH recuperating from gunshot wounds he received at around 12.35 a.m. on Sunday morning in Orange Rock Town. Diaz was at a relative's house on Zericote Street when he decided to ride his bike home. As he curved into Sapodilla Street, two men on a motorcycle drove by blasting several bullets in Diaz's direction. When my cousin, the one who he made it with, he told me he had a shot, they made it together, they made it, you know, have funny thing. Then when he tell my cousin he don't sleep, he went home. So my cousin tell him, no, sleep here. Yeah. Okay, he don't late already. And then the Friday night, we don't hear people, they walk in the yard. So he tell my cousin, he don't sleep right here. Yeah. So now he um, grabbed bike and gun. My cousin said, like, not even five minutes after, then he started hearing a gunshot. And then that when he ran out, and he said he me don't figure my cousin get hurt. Then my next cousin run a hand and then just shut up your brother. So now when he run out and he see my cousin with the phone in his hand, like him want call or somebody. And I saw police reach at the same moment too. Then back up and carry in the hospital. Diaz was shot twice to the chest, once to the lower abdomen and once to the foot. Investigators are trying to determine if his attempted murder is linked to the murder of Samuel Castro, who was killed less than five minutes before by two men on a motorcycle as well. He apparently also received four gunshot injuries to his body. Um, this matter as well is also being investigated as it was also reported that two persons on a motorcycle as well drove past and fired those shots towards him which got him. Sir, um, could you say right off the bat um, whether you believe because the description of um, well the, the shooters were using motorcycles, do you believe that um, these were the same shooters? Um, we do not know but we are looking into that as well at this time. Sir, is DS known to be gun affiliated? Um, at this time I would not want to say that until that is confirmed. And do you believe that these two shooting incidents are related? They could have been related, but as I mentioned before, this matter is under investigation to determine whether or not they are. Diaz is known to be an affiliate of the Baca Town Crips gang in Orange Rock. It is this affiliation which many people believe led to his shooting, especially with a reported internal gang feud heating up. Why would anyone want to hurt Justin? Well, Mm, well, I think everybody feels, well, I don't know, I can't give one reason why. Do you believe it's because of the life he, he lives? I mean, we know that he's part of that clique there. He, yeah, he could, he could have a part of a clique, but not like he's not any kind of good man where he's going to do a move or something like that. He just want to hang out friend and even if I hang out with somebody, Whosoever they run, I always get target, want be the target. If we family, we not no kind of gang or nothing. We are just home. We are home from work to home. People don't know, you know, we like that. Yeah. What is the doctor saying? Have you spoken with your auntie? Well, last night we called him. Like after three, he may come after his surgery. And thing they say he do good right now. Hopefully. Is he speaking? He come home. Yeah, he don't speak already. Do you know whether or not he saw who did it? Well, to be honest, we don't know if he see it, but people say that the camera catch it and that he say he know the car or cycle, we don't know, really good. Yeah, he know that who. Reporting for News 5, Hippolyta Novello.